hello guys welcome back to my channel on today's tutorial i will demonstrate how to cut and sew a front overlap cape dress hi my name is ayo and welcome to 011 clothing tutorials on this channel i upload diys pattern drafting and sewing tutorials if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. Thank you! I'll be working with the following items. A pair of scissors, pins, tape measure, water erasable fabric pencil, the pattern pieces which I drafted in a previous tutorial, four yards of African print fabric, four yards of lining fabric. This is foam wadding and I will use it to pad the bust area of the dress. Some interfacing. These are the pattern pieces that I will use to make the bodies of the dress. I drafted the pattern for this in a previous tutorial. Its link will be above and in the description box below. I will now go ahead and cut out all these pattern pieces on my fabric and also on the lining fabric. So now I've gone ahead to do all the cutting on the African print fabric and also on the lining fabric. I will now commence the sewing process. These two pieces are for the front of the dress. I used half an inch seam allowance all around except for the side seams where I used two inches side seam allowance. I have already notched the boss point and the under boss point so as to make it easy for me to join the pieces together. I cut two pieces each on the main African print fabric and two pieces on the lining fabric. I have already interfaced the wrong sides of the lining pieces. I have also gone ahead to pad the bust area. I will now pick up one piece each from each of the two pattern pieces cut out on the African print, on the African print fabric. I will now go ahead and pin them in place, right side to right side. Once I'm done pinning, I will take them to my sewing machine and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. I will do the same thing for the lining pieces as well. So now the stitching has been done as you can see for both the Ankara fabric and also the lining fabric. I will now go ahead and trim off the excess foam wadding on the lining fabric along the same lines like this. These two pieces are for the back of the dress. I used that funny seam allowance all around the pattern pieces except for the side seam where I used 2 inches as the side seam allowance. I did not add any seam allowance to the center back because there is already one inch zip allowance at the center back. I cut two pieces on the African print fabric and two pieces on the lining fabric. I have already interfaced the wrong sides of the lining pieces. I will now pick one piece each from each of the pattern pieces cut on the African, on the African print fabric. I will now pin them together like this so the right sides are together. Once I'm done pinning, I will take them to my sewing machine and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. I will do the same thing for the lining pieces as well. So now the stitching has been done as you can see and I've already pressed open the same lines. The 
This is the off shoulder sleeve. I use half an inch seam allowance all around the pattern. I cut four pieces on the African print fabric. I will notch the upper part of the sleeve so as to differentiate it from the bottom part. Next, I will pick up two pieces each, right sides together, and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance on the lower part of the sleeve. Now the stitching has been done, and I have turned the sleeves to the right side and I, and I have given them a thorough press. Next, I will fix the off shoulder sleeves to the armholes of the bodies. So I will pick one piece of the African print and one piece of the lining. These are the front pieces. With the right sides together, I will now go ahead and sandwich the sleeve in between the armholes of the main Ankara piece and the lining piece. I will pin in place. After pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. After stitching, I notch the seam allowance. Then I understick the seam allowance to the armhole of the lining fabric. I did the same thing for the second piece as well. These are the back pieces. I will place the lining pieces on top of the main Ankara pieces like this, right side to right side. The other side of the sleeve, the other side of the sleeve with the armhole will be sandwiched in between the main fabric and the lining fabric at the arm all of the bodies. I will pin in place. After pinning, I will take them to my sewing machine and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done, as you can see. After stitching, I notch the seam allowances, then I understick the seam allowance to the armhole of the lining fabric. I did the same thing for the other piece as well. This is the cape. I used half an inch seam allowance all around the pattern. I cut four pieces on the African print fabric. I interfaced the two, the wrong sides of two pieces, of two pieces out of the four pieces. I will notch the upper part of the cape, that is, that is the neckline area, so as to avoid confusion while sewing. I will now pick one interface piece and another piece that was not interfaced. I will now place them right sides together. I will align the two pieces very well. I will repeat the same thing for the two remaining pieces as well. I will now go ahead and stitch the lower ends of the cape using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. After sewing, I notch the seam allowances. After sewing, I notch the seam allowances. And I, and I now went ahead to understick the seam allowances to the end of the cape piece with the interfacing. I have also given the two cape pieces a thorough press, especially at the lower end. 
for the bodies of the dress, I will go ahead and sew the four side seam in place, right side to right side. I will use half an inch seam allowance for the stitching on my sewing machine. So now the stitching has been done, as you can see, I have sewn the side seams, the four side seams, and I have given the four side seams a thorough press. So as you, as you can see, the center back, the area, that's, the area with the zip allowance is still open. I will now go ahead and insert the cape pieces in between the lining and the main fabric at the center back right side of the lining and the main fabric are together. I will pin in place, then I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stick the center back in place using half an inch sewing allowance. I will do the, I will do the same thing for the second cap piece as well. So now the stitching has been done, as you can see, the capes have been fixed to the center back of the bodies. It is now time to sew the cape to the neckline of the, of the dress. So with the right side of the, of the cape facing the lining fabric, I will paint the cape along the front and the back necklines. Like this. I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. I will do the same thing for the other cape piece as well. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. After stitching, I knock the seam allowances all around the neckline, then I now understick the seam allowances to the neckline of the lining fabric. It is now time to overlap the front pieces. You can overlap it this way or you can also do it the other way around. I will now go ahead and stitch it in place. Remember that when I was drafting the pattern, the overlap ends at the dart line. So I will use this as a guide when overlapping the two front pieces. I will now stitch in place using one quarter of an inch sewing allowance. So now I have stitched the two front pieces together at the end. For the lower part of the dress, I will make a gathered skirt. The first thing I will do is to determine the length of the skirt. The length of the bodies of the dress is 16 inches. The full length of the dress is 60 inches. So the length of the skirt will be 60 inches minus 16 inches. And this is equal to 44 inches. To determine the fabric width, that I will use for the gather skirt. First, I will measure the front waistline, the front waistline of the bodies like this. And this gave me a value of 20 inches. I will now multiply this 20 inches by two. 
and this is equal to 40 inches. For the back, I will also measure the waistline of one of the back pieces and this is equal to 10.5 inches. I will now multiply the 10.5 inches by 2 and this is equal to 21 inches. So I will cut two pieces for the back of the dress since we have two back pieces. So for the front of the skirt, I will cut out a fabric that is 40 inches wide and 44 inches long. For the back of the dress, I will cut out two pieces of fabric that are 21 inches wide and 44 inches long. So now I have gone ahead to cut out the fabric pieces that I will use for the gather skirt. I have also gathered the upper parts of the fabric pieces. I will now pin the gathered area to the waistline of the front and back bodies right side to right side once i'm done pinning i will take them to my sewing machine and i will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance So now the stitching has been done as you can see. Next, I will sew the center back of the dress together up to the point where the zip will end. I will now fix this long zip to the center back of the dress. I will also sew the side seams together using the remaining 1.5 inches side seam allowance. I will also aim the lower part of the dress and of course I will remove these stickers. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. I've joined the side seams together. I have aimed the lower part of the dress. I have also fixed the long zip to the center back of the dress as you can see as for the open front of the dress with the overlap you can either choose to leave it as it is secure it together with a needle and thread you can open up the inner part of the cape and stick it in place on my sewing machine and that is exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to stick the two front pieces together via the inner part of the cape on my sewing machine and i'm also going to fix this applique to this side of the front of the dress so that's it guys we are done if you find this video helpful do not forget to give it a thumbs up drop a comment down below share this video with your friends who are interested in sewing and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so already see you in my next tutorial Bye and thank you so much for watching.